Hi viewers, my name's Alec, I'm a member of the technical team at Qualifier, and today I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough through some of our tested details. So if we take a look over here, and we'll start with the first board. So just some of the applications we have showcased here. If we start at the top, we've got this detail here, which is our head of wall detail with our profile uh, for a profile deck floor. This just uses our quell stop fire bat with our quell stop acrylic sealant in the dovetail. Just below that, we've got a letterbox application and just showcasing some of the unique details that we've tested. One of these here on the left is our flexible conduit with cables, and this conduit can be up to 50 mil. Just to the right of this, we have tested pre-insulated MLC Upanor pipes. They're going completely through the wall, and this, both these details are using our Quellstock HPE sealant. Another unique detail, and very common on site at the moment, is trap pipe. These are metal trap pipes in sleeves, plastic sleeves, that are again going through the wall. And as you can see here, we have tested bundles of these, again using our Quellstock HPE sealant. Just moving across, just at the top here, we have an, a, a detail here with a three-sided patris application, again under a, a soffit, and it uses our QI Intrafoam. This Intrafoam can compress down to 25 mil, so if you've got any movement with the floor. Within the patris itself, we've got again some other details. We've got the flexible conduit with cables again that we saw in the letterbox application. We've got an ABS plastic pipe and we have a number of different plastic types that we have tested. And we've got here a MLC um, Upanor pipe here, this time with no insulation on it. All three of these details are using our HPE sealant. Just below this, we've got a patris detail. This one is four sided, um, but in here we've got trunking. With trunking, it's simply sealed with our Quellstop acrylic sealant on the sides with the back and inside uses our fire pillows. One of the unique things with the trunking as well is we do also test empty trunking systems. So if you have any future requirements for cables, you could have an empty trunking system just filled with pillows as well. Just below this, we've got our portable Quell uh, Fire Putty Pad display. Our putty pads are quite unique. We have tested not only in plastic socket boxes, which most manufacturers do, we have actually also tested in metal. Um, just showcasing here, we've got a metal socket box here and a metal media panel at the bottom. One of the other unique features we've got is testing with Beadmaster. And if I just showcase here, testing with um, small gaps up to 20 mil between metal socket boxes as well. Okay. Just moving along here to this next board. This board is actually a single skin plasterboard wall. This one is a 12.5 mil board, both sides of a 50 mil stud, and we just got some unique uh, single skin plasterboard wall details here to showcase. In the top section, you can see this is a letterbox application. It's just using one layer of uh, Quellstock fire bat, and we have tested a number of different applications. Straight off the bat, you can look at our plastic duct using our QRS fire sleeve. And as you can see, we have tested these stacked horizontally and vertical with zero mil spacing between the sleeves. Just to the right of this, we have a insulated copper pipe. This time at the moment, it's insulated with phenolic insulation and it's going right through the application. To combat this, you'll see, if you take a, a quite close look in, you can see two layers of our quell stop uh, quell coil. And the quell core is not only good for insulating metal pipes, just to the right of it, you'll see this plastic pipe, where again, it is using uh, the quell coil layers. Depending on the size of the pipe will determine how many layers you'll need for your plastic pipes. Just below that, again, in the letter box, we've got applications for cable baskets, one using our acrylic sealant and one using our HPE sealant, depending on what, how many cables and what you've got going on there. Just to the right, We've got the CPVC sprinkler pipe application. Um, we have tested this type of pipe in a number of different applications. And one of the great features with our HP sealant is approved by both Lubrizol and Spears, the two main manufacturers of CPVC pipes. And then finally, just to the right of that, you have your small sort of air conditioning type insulated pipes. So these are your 15 mil um, copper pipes with your nine mil armor flex going through in bundles. And again, these use our HPE sealant. Very often though, you may just have the odd one single service going through your wall. 
So you not, might not have a letterbox application. So we have done some direct to wall seals, which are very popular. We've got solutions just for cables, either a single cable or small bundles, just using our acrylic sealant. For large bundles, we've done some testing with our HPE sealant. We've got, zoom in here, uninsulated metal pipes. So metal pipes just going through the wall on their own. We've got some solutions where you'd have some local interrupted rock fiber. We've got uh, solutions for conduits, very small conduits like this one, up to 20 mil with data cables can just use acrylic sealant. We do also have a, an option for a larger conduit, similar to the one that we've seen on a previous um, board. And then we've got solutions for plastic pipes using HPE. Uh, we've got CPVC pipes, bundles of these PEX pipes. Uh, these are usually uh, used for stuff like underfloor heating and stuff like that. Uh, they're usually about 22 mil diameter, but you can see you can get bundles up to 100 mil with them. And again, we've got the small insulated metal pipes typically used for air conditioning. So just moving on, uh, we do have this showcase board. And this showcase board just shows um, how some of our products work. So in this instance, we've got a QRS fire sleeve. This used for plastic ducts. And how this works, this goes around the plastic duct and goes through the wall. We have a rectangular one that goes uh, on rigid ducts like so. And we do also have a cylinder version that goes for uh, some of the semi-rigid and rigid uh, cylinder ducts. What happens then, as you can see, is the intumescent will start to expand with the heat. And as these very thin walled plastic ducts begin to melt and collapse, the intumescent will expand and close that void. Just below that, we showcase the QWR fire collar. And this is around typical, your uh, sort of sewage pipes, SVPs, just standard plastic pipes, different types. Generally we test um, UPVC, PP, HDP, that type of plastic. And again, you can see that the intumescent, when it reacts with the heat, will start to expand. And as this plastic softens and collapses, it will fill the void. On this wall, very simply, we're just gonna sh uh, showcase a letterbox application. This time, this one's in a double skin plasterboard wall. Typically, this will be two layers of plasterboard, both sides of the stud, around 100 mil or thicker walls. So in the details we've got here is again, we've got a plastic pipe here. This time, this is using our QIF fire sleeve. So this is a sleeve with intermescent embedded into it that goes around the pipe that goes through the wall. Just to the, to the right of that, we've got, uh, again, another detail here using trap pipe. Uh, again, this is uses our HP sealant. And as you can see, for those um, very close to it, there's no sealant on this side of the wall. With gas pipes, you'd only have a cold smoke seal one side, so the other side will be sealed with sealant, and this side is free to let any uh, gas leaks come out and be detected. We, again, we've got our HP, uh, CPVC using our HP sealant detail here. We've got bundles of um, metal pipes, like we previously talked about, and we've got some cable applications below. Again, either using our acrylic sealant or HPE, depending on your application and fire rating required. Further details in double back that we have are the use of our QWR fire collar around plastic pipes, and this is simply pigtailed uh, um, onto the fire back using the specific pigtail screws. And you might be able to see that if you zoom in now. And we've tested that for pipes up to 160 mil. But then we do have the options where you can just use the uh, very popular quell coil, as I previously mentioned, where you've got different number of layers requirements. We've got options for insulated metal pipes, not only with phenolic and sort of armor flex um, type insulation, we do have options for rock fiber. And lastly, we do have um, our plastic duct solutions using our QS fire sleeve. And lastly, just wanted to talk about uh, Patrick's detail a little bit more than what we did previously. With this, this is again a four-sided Patris detail, and there's a number of different solutions you can see here. A lot of them we've already talked about, but one of the unique features with our patrissing, as you can see on this side, is our overlap. So when it's in a four-sided application, the overlap is requirement is a minimum of 50 on the sides and the top, and only 30 mil on the bottom edge. So this is great for when you've got those low false ceilings and your services are quite low down. If this is being used in a three-sided application like we talked about before, you need 50 mil overlap on the sides and the bottom, and then you can use that 
QI Info uh, application at the top of the soffit. If you need any information on those details, you can speak to us at Technical. Uh, our email address is technical at qualifier.co.uk. I just want to say thank you for listening to this video. Uh, this is just a small sample of what we've tested. Uh, all our details are on our website. But to keep up to date with any of our new tester solutions coming in the future, if you subscribe to our channel, if you click on that notification bell, and if you can give us a thumbs up and like, we'll try and get as many videos out to you as possible. Thank you very much.